Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys another reading. So today's topic is karma's a bitch. How have the tables turned in your favor? So this is going to be about a specific situation where you had a falling out with somebody from your past. Now I do tend to channel for those that have experienced like a romantic dynamic with this person, but you know, just take what resonates for you and get rid of anything that doesn't. So you're definitely in separation, no contact, and you basically just want to know um, have the tables turned and if they have, how have they turned in your favor? So we're going to get into this. What are the circumstances that went down in this situation with this person? So the details that come through here, hopefully will confirm for you that I'm plugged into your situation. What went down in the situation with this person? Hmm. Well, what I'm getting here is you were completely disillusioned. Uh, <laughs> we have shattered, false, debunked. I feel like you were completely caught off guard with this individual. You know, you thought you knew them and then they did something and you were just like, holy shit, I didn't know them at all. So um, something was shattered. Their image, whatever dream that you were building, whatever image you had of them was completely shattered. Yeah, we have this allure, temperance, affair, seduction. So this could be for some of you a cheating situation as in your person went into another direction. So you were with them and then they decided to step outside of the connection. And um, or it could have been that you were the temporary person as in they made you believe that you were something and something special to them, that it was solid just to find out that that really wasn't the case or they seem to have changed their mind overnight and you're just like, I don't get it. Why did you say all these things? Why did you do all these things if I if it was just this? Makes no sense. All right, let's see what else. Mm, we have strength. <laughs> I feel like this person really, really hurt you, you guys. And it took a lot of strength on your part to hold yourself back from just completely losing it. So you might also feel like there's, it's like unfinished, like you were not able to react or handle the situation that you you know, how you wanted to. And the reason why could have been the fact that it might've ended up hurting you, hurting someone. It might've even not been good and there could have been horrible consequences. So you had all this rage and all these feelings, but yet you had to restrain yourself like a caged animal. You had to hold yourself back um, from this beast in a way. It could have also just made you feel really, really weak. Like, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm, st I'm stronger than this. I'm smarter than this. I can't believe I fell for this. We have three of wands. Do you feel like somebody gave you false promises? Because the three of wands to me is, um, you know, out in, out in the distance. Like, you know, we, we, we saw a future here. We saw a future with this person. Maybe they, they said that they saw a future with us too. And then bam, they pulled the rug out from under our feet. We thought we were building something. I have the emperor on the bottom of the deck. So this could be somebody who is like a masculine in nature. And, you know, you really thought they were stand up person, stand up character, and they just didn't turn out to be. So... Let's see what else. What else does Spirit want us to know? We have judgmental. So we have issues, unkind, inner crisis. Well, obviously, whatever this person said or did to you, you guys, um, I know it's, it sounds so cliche, but that was their own issue. It was an inner crisis that they were having. It wasn't about you. It wasn't that you weren't good enough. None of those things. But that's probably how it made you feel. They may have even projected something onto you, which was total BS, and you kind of knew it, but yet... You, you felt it, you experienced that. That's unfortunate when people do that. Oh, there we go. So uh, that's why the, um, the emperor, when I just saw that, it, it's like somebody that may have some sort of a status or they look really good on the outside, like, whoa, you would never think that this person could be this cold, calculating, um, whatever, but they got issues, man. This person has issues. And these issues run deep. And the reason why this person is screwing around or, or stepping on people's hearts and being cruel is because they have freaking issues. That's why. You might have thought that this individual is really strong, like they had strong character. Not true. Um, people that lie, people that steal, people that belittle others, make other people feel small. When really deep down inside they feel small, that's just cruel. So I just feel like this individual comes across as somebody that really has it together. They might be very good looking too. So it's very easy for them to just jump from one thing to the next. And um, they might also have some sort of an appetite for power 
or a hunger for something specific and it's kind of like a, an addictive energy where this person kind of gets in this mindset where they don't care who they hurt they just have to get their needs met so it's very selfish self-centered type of egoic energy i'm picking up on from this person okay all right let's see what else I'm sorry one of my cats is crying out the door Okay, we have the Knight of Cups, Don Juan. <laughs> Don Juan, romantic type of person. They come in hot, they come in strong, but they don't close the deal. This is somebody who you might have a, um, you know, a small romance with. When I say small, it could have felt really big and maybe it was a big production, but it maybe didn't last long. This person knew all the right moves and all the right things to say to kind of get you into that situation, but then they pulled out. They may have even been invested elsewhere is what I'm getting for some of you guys. So if that temptress energy, this could be third party for some of you guys, okay? Maybe made you believe that they were going to be done with the situation when in fact they weren't. Maybe that they said they were available and only for you to find out that they were not. The Eight of Wands. Uh, this is uh, fast. Somebody who is a living life in the fast lane. <laughs> that eagle song. Life in the fast lane. That's this person. Okay. They just want to keep on going. They want to have a lot of experiences. They want to have a good time. But again, they don't really stay long enough to deal with those consequences. So that's probably the reason why you clicked on this reading today is because you want to know how the tables have turned and if your person has gotten some sort of karma. So you might get some enjoyment out of this reading. <laughs> so let's continue all right let's see what else what else went down in this situation with this person i just feel like it was very exciting especially in the beginning it was very romantic i'm almost i'm almost getting like a love bomb type of energy here knight of cups by the way just so you guys know is pisces energy um, let me see if there's any other signs that came through. No, um, yeah, Leo, Leo's energy. Leo's also um, love a lot of attention. Not, and I don't mean that like as a negative for all Leos, but like the lower vibrational Leo loves a lot of attention, loves to be adored, loves to be stroked like an animal in a way, loves the attention and can very much be in their ego. And that's just kind of how I see this person. Pisces can sometimes be the dreamer, somebody who's unrealistic, somebody who wants to fall in love, but they don't actually have what it takes to stay in love or, or no, realize that love is actually... Um, you, you know, it, it's, it's a connection. It's, it's work. It's, it's a situation. It's not something that you just use. And then when you're done, you discard it and you go on to the next thing. So I feel like this person could kind of view relationships or love or just in that way. All right, let's see what else. Foolish. At the end of the day, this person is just foolish. We've got senseless, silly, and stupid. You know, it's just like so stupid. Why? You and I have on the bottom of the deck score and this, this might have been you. It's like, oh, how could I have been so foolish? How could I have been so stupid? I'm getting that. So that might have might have went down in your situation where you're just like really beating yourself up for falling for this BS, for not seeing either the red flags or hell. Maybe you did see the red flags, but you were like, that doesn't apply to me. I've been there, done that. It doesn't apply to me. Mm. We have concern, sad news, setback, hostility. Um, this individual, this could have just been them delivering to you that, you know, um, it's over, that they're pulling out, they, you know, don't want to see you anymore, they're going back to someone else. It, many, many things here. And so, of course, this created just like this sad energy here. And it may have even um, caused hostility in you, but it set you guys back. Definitely. You may have heard that this person did something, so that was the sad news. Oh. With the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is somebody who is kind of closed up and not wanting to change. They're kind of greedy. They're kind of selfish. They're set in their ways. So this person may have not been able to let something go if they had something else going on, um, or they were just like, I, this is just who I am. I can't change. With the Five of Swords, which is unfair. It's us unfair energy all the way around. It's like a battle. It's having some sort of a battle, like you can't win this battle. This person, it's like they're stuck in their ways. They are who they are. They're not seeing themselves. And so they're just going to do nothing but hurt other people until they're aware of their own crap. So 
I just feel like that was the situation. You may have just had to accept that, you know what, these, these things happened and I have no choice but to move on. It totally sucks, but there's nothing I can do but move on. I've been duped. I've been had. I feel so dumb, but wow, lesson learned kind of thing, right? But yeah, the five of swords means somebody did you dirty, did, did you wrong. Um, I can assign this to people that act narcissistically, not necessarily narcissists, but they act narcissistically as in they act very selfish, like they don't care. They cut you off very cold and abrupt. But again, these types of behaviors come from a slew of issues that people have. So to box someone in and say, this is this or this is that, you know, it's easy to do, but that might not always be, be the case. But you could have even said to yourself, wow, I just dealt with a freaking, you know, this or that. Five of Swords definitely is somebody who doesn't fight fair, fights kind of dirty, um, pulls the rug out from under your feet, lies to you. You can't even you can't even defend yourself because how can you defend yourself against somebody that's lying to you? You can't. They don't even give it give it a chance. The truth is not out there. So this set your whole connection back. Somebody's foolish ass behavior. Just and it didn't have to be this way. Just actually really really sad. That's what I'm getting here. It's just so sad at the end of the day. It didn't have to be this way. But this person made it this way. So that's what we have. Let's take a look at this downfall. What immediate karma started coming your person's way? You know, eventually what karma started coming their way? Let's look at this. Okay, so we have arrangement. If this person um, had another situation going on, it's like they're still putting on the show in order to save face. But even if there were, were no other people, um, it's kind of like, I'm good. I'm, I'm all good. I'm okay. Acting like they never gave a crap. And that might have been very hurtful for you, you guys, because it seems like this person walked away scot-free just looking good, you know, just untouched. But this individual may just put on this act or the show to try to show the, the world a, a side of them that's false. It's just not true. It's a mask that they wear. So they put on a show in order to save face. But what I'm getting here is something crumbled. Something crumbled or whatever they went into or stayed with, if that resonates, um, they weren't happy. They were just miserable in that situation. So it's kind of like, wow, cool. Like you just went back to, I'm just making this up. You went back to your wife and kids, the person that you were screwing around on with me because you were so unhappy. Wow, you're back in that same situation where you're not happy. That's kind of karma in itself. It's like someone is just on that hamster wheel getting nowhere in life, you know, and actually creating more karma too. Let's see what else? This could be that somebody found something out. Ooh, drowning in sorrow. Somebody that might have been drinking, somebody that might have been using things in order to cope. Drowning their sorrows because they're sad. So even though maybe they, they're they um, pretending that they're okay or they went back to a situation, they're not happy in that situation, so they're drowning their sorrows. So that's a karma in itself. It's like, cool, I have this, but I'm still not happy. We a loony bin. Doesn't mean somebody actually ended up in a loony bin, but guess what? It's like going nuts. It does say a trip to the psych ward. Maybe somebody had to take a trip to a therapy therapist office. Maybe somebody that they were dealing with had to take a trip to, you know, like a psych ward, or there was just some sort of counseling or something that was involved. But this person in a way felt like they were losing their mind, a lot of stress. And so they were dealing with their stress by um, either um, using things in order to cope. So that's just straight up unhappiness. Ooh, stomach related issues that prevent comfortability. I'm just getting here issues that prevent uncomfortability in their life, whether it was their stomach or anything else. But it's like, it's like you're full of shit. <laughs> this person's so full of it. At what point are they going to, you know, unclog that, that, uh, that drain and, and get things flowing again. So it's just, it's like stuff just keeps piling up for this person. They're going nowhere. They haven't changed anything. It just, they act like they've changed, but they haven't. Ooh, we have gamble a risk that does not pay off. So they may have put their um, all of their money on red. And when that roulette little ball, it landed on black, so it didn't pay off. So if there was another person that they went into another connection with, that connection did not work out. 
or it's not going to, um, or something fell apart, whatever they arranged, whether it was their life, a business, something, the, the way that they looked, something came, un became, or came unraveled, something fell apart. The, the gig was up, or the jig was up. So they got found out in some way. They, they took a risk and it didn't pay off. So definitely disappointment and unhappiness and sadness. Let's get more. Aimless, lost soul, deadbeat, woe is me. Yeah, to me, this is this depiction here of this person. Woe is me. I don't understand why this is happening to me. <laughs> so for me, it's just like feeling lost, like a lost soul, feeling like a feeling like I'm washed up to like a deadbeat, feeling um feeling worthless is what I'm seeing with that jack of diamonds. We also have disagreements, outstanding bills, unfinished projects, procrastination. So I feel like this person is used to um, being on top or at least pretending that they've got it all together. But I just feel that as the noose started tightening, you know, um, more and more, they, this thing started to fall apart for this individual. They started to have disagreements. Maybe bills were piling up. They couldn't pay those bills. This person may have had to file for bankruptcy. Um, they may have had to just really be on a tight budget, which was really uncomfortable. Um, things that they wanted to do, they put it off. And so it just all came crashing down. It's like a tower moment hit this person. And it really, this image came crashing down. Another two, lack of control, complaining, playing the victim in a negative headspace. So that headspace, of course, as we see here, is pretty, uh, it's pretty wacky, right? It's like, I, I've lost all control. Um, I, I'm just complaining about all of my woes. woes. Woe is me. Playing the victim. I can't believe this is happening to me. Negative headspace. So your person definitely had to feel the stress and they had to feel something in, in regards to the consequences of their actions. So definitely karma here. We have the five of spades, unwanted friendships, difficult individuals, draining energy and needing to clear these people out. So something became unwanted. What they thought they wanted didn't actually turn out to be what they wanted at all. So much like maybe they handled you, they went into perhaps other situations and had problematic experiences as well, even after you. So I feel like the grass was not greener on the other side. Something that they wanted didn't work out. We have clouded judgment, entanglements, flaky people, and unrequited love. So it's like something wasn't re reciprocated. Either they wanted something and that person didn't want them, or they just ended up in a situation where they were bored again and they were just flaking out and they disappointed someone because they weren't into them. I just feel like this individual went into something with maybe high hopes and it didn't work out for them. Whether it was business, whether it was um, you know, a relationship, whatever it was, it didn't work out. All right, let's get some more. Well, immediate karma started coming their way because of what they did to you. I'm just getting just because of the shitty person that they, they were. There's that caged beast again. I feel like the message with that caged beast energy for you guys, the viewer, was that you did really hold yourself back from like unleashing on this person, letting them have it. And you've always worried perhaps that, you know, maybe you should have given them a piece of your mind. Maybe you should have went off on them. It wouldn't have made a difference. I'm getting here at the time. So stop beating yourself up over that. The, the best thing that, to know is that karma did eventually um, meet up with this person, catch up with this person. That's what I'm trying to say. So in a way, it's like you can walk away from the situation with your head held high. You didn't create any more issues. You actually look like, um, you're, you know, you're the person that has grace and who is mature. This person just looks like a fool. So it's like, I'm getting here. You're like, you, you are pulling this, this, um, uh, rubber band and you just let go and it snapped the other person. So it's like you, just walk away in a way unscathed, even though you're not because you're really hurt by the situation. But at the end of the day, this person just traps themselves. They get themselves into a mess and then they're just freaking trapped. They're never able to completely and fully be authentically themselves. And that to me is like a living hell. 
So that's like your person's karma there is they can never really truly live outside of this cage because maybe they're afraid or they're scared or they, they don't know how to be authentic. Ooh, I do feel like there was somebody else that let their ass have it. This right here, femme fatale, this is someone who's, yeah, you better watch out for sure. This could even be like a Lilith energy. Somebody that um, they maybe perhaps was not wanting to be controlled or not wanting to be um, in a connection or relationship. Maybe they just wanted it to be just purely physical and your person for once may have wanted something more and they couldn't have that. And so they kind of got the feeling, they got to figure out what that felt like on the other end from the things that they had done to other people, making people feel like they weren't good enough. Somebody made this person not feel like they weren't good enough or they mess with the wrong person and this person unlike you unleashed on their ass and let them have it big time they didn't cage they let the beast come out so either way it's like you see these guard dogs here oh no somebody wasn't gonna let let this get go by somebody wasn't gonna let this person get away with something so this particular person that they messed with or hurt could have done something to really create a lot of just drama or uncomfortability in their life issues big time oh yeah there it is it's like that's <laughs> the death card i feel like after whatever this was that happened to this person it may be that this is when that your individual finally woke the he heck up and just said you know what i guess i gotta be more careful i guess i gotta start keep looking at myself or start looking at myself and maybe see what i might be contributing to these problems and dramas that are continuing to follow me around <laughs> right yeah the siren of torment in this deck is the queen of swords and the queen of swords is libra so this could have been a legal dispute this could have been a nasty custody battle a nasty divorce um being sued something um uh maybe a um uh domestic you know stuff or even could have been a restraining order just anything like that i feel it was just like bam it just like <laughs> in a way it almost killed this person's spirit like it knocked them down big time you guys so you may not have inflicted this on them like maybe you some of you thought about doing or wanted to but somebody else did oh look at this <laughs> i feel like your person could not talk their way out of it this is the knight of cups coming through again so that's already come up for your person. This individual might be not the Knight of Cups, which is kind of the Don Juan, the smooth talker. They say things, but then they don't deliver. So this person says, oh, you said this? Well, guess what? There's consequences. There you go. You're not going to get away with this. You're not going to get away with what you said or did. Ooh, yeah, look at that. The karma. This person, whenever I see the world, that always confirms for me karma. This is Saturn. It's karma's energy. So um, this might have been a karmic partner for them. So this was like a lesson or some unfinished karma from another lifetime. And they came together with this person to really deliver this um, harsh reality, basically. This like come to Jesus moment for your person. So yeah, I feel like you were not designed to hand this person their karma. This other individual was. So I definitely feel like they've gotten that for sure. And so... I feel like with this particular card it does cause you to think about all those people that you did hurt, the people that you did dirty and you did wrong. So I do feel like this person did look back on unfinished business with other people, which of course you're a part of that. So it did make them think of all the things that they could have done to you that were not the greatest. So that's what we have for that. Now we're going to go into boomerang. How have the tables turned in your favor? Let's look at this energy. How have the tables turned in your favor? Oh, I love this for you guys. You're right where you need to be, okay? It says right place. So the universe basically has been, it says universe leads one to find love. The universe has led you to the right place, right time. So even if you guys feel confused right now, like, you know, you're, you're not where you want to be, you're exactly where you need to be. You're exactly where you need to be. Spirit did not leave your side. The universe did not forsake you. The universe did not punish you. The universe has delivered you to the right place, which is right now. So what I'm getting here is how have the tables have turned? I feel like things are going really well for you. Things are not really going well for this person. So the tables have turned. Yeah, look at that. Wish granted. 
blessings, payoff, good luck, perfect timing. Look at this. This could be a godsend, some sort of wealth. Uh, you know, that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So abundance. So you guys may have really leveled up in your life. You may have improved your life in some way. And it's like, it is paying off for sure. It is definitely paying off. So I feel like things have gotten better for you and things have actually gotten worse for your person. Yep, that three of swords. You're, and you're overcoming the sorrow. You're healing. You're recovering. You might even be forgiving this person, perhaps. That might be where you're at right now. Maybe you've let them go. You've healed. You released them with love and light in your heart. You're, you're working on recovering. You're optimistic about your future. You're hopeful. You, you have dreams. You, you, you feel like, you know, maybe this had to happen for a particular reason. Like you're making peace with that. So the difference between you and this person is that the tables have turned. They're not feeling like they're in the right place. They're not feeling abundant. They're not feeling like they're not recovering or healing, perhaps. Maybe it's a real struggle for them. Let's see what else. Yep, independent spirit. So like you on your own, you've done something. You've taken you've taken control or the reins of your healing journey. You're you're no longer giving too much power to this person with your thoughts and your energy. You may think about them and tap into them every now and then, but they're not like this full on narrator in your mind or in your life or your energy anymore. So I just feel like you've taken your power back. Ooh, we have the kerosene. So to me, this is like a strong energy. So this is talking about, um, you know, if we pour kerosene, gasoline on a fire, what it's going to do is it's going to get more aggressive, right? So I feel like you, how have the tables turned? I feel like in a way you might have been avoiding your person or afraid of your person or just kind of like real nervous. Like if you would talk to them or see them again, I feel like you're in such a good place that your person now feels afraid to see you. So that table has turned. You no longer feel anxiety. This person feels anxiety when they think about you and when um, they think about running into you or facing you or talking to you. Yeah, we have the page of coins. So you have laid a real good foundation for yourself. You have invested in yourself. You've invested in something specific and it is paying off. I feel like in a way your success or happiness, especially if you've moved on into another relationship and if your person knows this, it burns them up inside. Not because they don't think that you deserve it or they're not happy for you, but because they have lost out on you know being in a connection with you. So there could be some res like a, uh, uh, what's the word? Remorse or guilt of what they lost. All right, let's see what else. We have circle of gossip. Y yeah, your person's heard something about you. That's what it is. Your person has heard that you're doing well or they're seeing that you're doing well. They're either hearing this through someone or they're seeing it on social media or maybe even both. But whatever it is, they know that you're doing really well. And it's like I said, it's not like they're not, they're not happy that you're doing well, but there's that feeling that maybe you're doing better than them. So it kind of burns them up inside because these tables have turned because they thought that they were just so amazing and so awesome and so entitled. And that maybe in some way you weren't what they wanted, but now the tables have turned and they're looking at you and you're like this bright shining star that's making them feel like, whoa, like, um, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have thought twice about letting someone like you go. Yeah, very likely. Okay, so it's very likely. So if some of you guys have been wondering whether or not your person has um, heard something about you or has seen something on social media, Spirit is saying it is, it is highly accurate that that is the case. They did hear something. Oh, and it created a tower moment for your person. It was a shock, like, woo. It really got them. So I feel like so their their life started falling apart and your life started coming up. And now they feel like upside down, like the tables have turned. You're doing well and they're not. You're solid. Maybe you're in a happy, loving relationship and they're not. Yeah, life hasn't worked out for this person the way that they thought. So that's how the tables have turned. Stay, yep, I'm telling you. 
You guys might be um, in a, like you're either stable, stable with yourself or you're stable in another relationship. And this person knows this and there is a part of them that, that like burns up inside over it because they don't have that. You moved on. You're doing great. And they're just having to sit back and watch that show now. Yep. This right here, this is about feeling good, being on a high, being on a higher level. So the tables have turned like you're elevated and they're not, you're, you're more plugged into your ascension and you're more aware of yourself and this person may not be. So it's like you actually, <laughs> in a way you are higher than this person now. The tables have turned and you're higher. That's just the only way to say it. Okay, and we have the three of wands. So there's a restriction with coming back. So maybe this person thought that you at some point would come back to them or that they could come back to this. Whatever they've seen or whatever they're seeing right now or whatever they're hearing or have heard, it makes them feel like that's like they're not good enough. It, 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 they, th they feel small now. They feel like they didn't do enough with their life, so they almost feel embarrassed is what I'm seeing here. So in some way, this person sees you as like in a way being better than them and it burns them up because they always had the upper hand and they don't anymore. And that's how the tables have been turned. So that's what I have for you guys so far. So if you'd like to join me for some deeper readings on this situation, we're going to go over onto the extended reading. I'll put that link in the description box down below as well as pin it to the top comment. Um, what we're going to go into over there is the remorse. What memories of you continue to haunt this person today? Beliefs. What do they assume you think and feel about them now? Apologies. What do they want to express to you from their heart and soul? And rectify. What do they feel is the best way to handle the situation with you moving forward. So if you guys want to join me over there, please do so. And if not, thank you guys so much for choosing to watch this reading and don't forget to give it some love if you guys feel inclined to do so. All right, you guys take care. Thanks again. Bye-bye.